everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today I've got a very fun card and this card project was part of my Easy with CZ series over on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel, but I wanted to share it here with you as well. Stick around, that card project is coming up next. Here's a look at the card I'll be creating in today's video, and it is a very simple design with some simple ink blending, some stacked die cuts, but also one of my favorite techniques, a tone-on-tone -tone embossed panel to pull the entire design together. Let's take a look at the supplies I'll be using today. I've got this wonderful Swiss dot embossing folder from Gina K Designs, and Swiss dots are my favorite thing to emboss, plus, a little You're On My Heart die. I've got a very simple rainbow of four Simon Says Stamp positively saturated inks, and we're gonna start with making a very simple ink blend. I want to blend enough to encompass the die cut, so I'm adding the melon first, and just working across the paper at an angle. This is Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound. Next, I'll bring in my yellow, this is Lemonade, blend that on using my brushes from Simon Says Stamp, and we're bringing in Celery, and then moving on to sea foam. So just a four color blend moving across the paper in rainbow order. Now that's exactly what I wanted to incorporate all of the dye. Now if your dies come tabbed, you can use little clippers like these from Beetalon and just snip them to break apart your dies. And then if there are any little extra Sharpies, I always just grab them and twist to remove them. I'll place the word die portion down on the blended panel and run that through my die cut machine. This is going to give me a really lovely You're On My Heart die, all cut out with a beautiful blend. And again, wherever you place it on your panel, that's where it's going to pick up the color. I'm gonna pop out all of the centers, and you can see how pretty that is. I'll go ahead and cut two more layers out of some more Nina Solar White cardstock because I wanna build up some dimension. Next, I'm going to take a piece of the 80 pound weight of the Nina Solar White Classic Crest. I like to use the lighter weight when I am doing a dry emboss technique, which is how I'm adding the texture. I'll add it to the folder, and I've already trimmed the piece down to three and three quarters by five inches. My shim for this folder, take out the plates, add a piece of cardstock, and then a top plate, and run that through. Always check with your manufacturer instructions when you're using embossing folders, but sometimes it just takes a little experimenting. And now I have this beautiful pattern embossed onto the paper. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love it. All right. Now, if you ever have die cuts and it looks like they didn't cut as cleanly as you'd hoped, I always take a little low-tech tape. This is Pixie Tape from Thermoweb. And just sort of, well, I call this de-hairing my die cuts. Of course, our die cuts don't have hair on them, but wait till you see all of the little papers that actually come off in this process. That's a lot of paper hair. So, a little, little pro tip for you. Next, I'll use the Simon Says Stamp Micro Dot Adhesives and burnish this a little bit to press my die cuts to pick up that Micro Dot Adhesive that's on the sticky part of the paper. And I'll stack my die cuts. These Micro Dots are really great for stacking die cuts. I used to use spray glue a lot and I never liked the fact that I was spraying something in my house. So the micro dots really are a wonderful way to stack die cuts for quick dimension. Then I'll take this whole piece, right, and go ahead and add that in as well to the micro dot sheet so that I can get adhesive on the back of that. You could also use liquid glue for this, but I figured I was going all in on micro dots, burnishing it down and then I'm putting it on a shadow layer that goes with the die. And really, there's hardly any like overhang of the adhesive. I'm really impressed with how well this adds adhesive to the die cuts. Isn't that pretty? Very subtle color, but I absolutely love this blend as it dries out. 
I decided to grab some yellow cardstock. This is lemon chiffon and create my USA2 card base. So this will fold down to be a card that is four and a quarter inches wide by five and a half inches tall. Give that a nice press with my Teflon bone folder. And then I'm going to add adhesive to the back of the dot panel and just pop that up on my card base. As I was looking at my card base, I noticed that I folded it a little bit off, so I just brought it back to my paper trimmer, scooched it over a tiny bit, and just cut that sliver off. No one except you and me will ever know. I've got foam squares on the back of the greeting. I'll add a little liquid glue. This is Connect Glue from Gina K Designs right onto the foam squares and bring in my Simon T-square to help me get that lined up perfectly straight on the front. I love the texture of that white panel. I'll finish off this card with some confetti style sequins in silver. I'm just going to do three on the top and mirror the placement on the bottom as well. Love confetti sequins and I love the silver because it just adds that nice neutral shine and that is the finished card project. I love taking any embossing folder to do this tone on tone look. It's such a fun way to add a little bit more to your card project, but to keep it very simple. You can find links for all of the supplies I used in today's video below in the YouTube description box. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.